Here we are again, guys. We got Hurricane Nicole heading towards Florida as we speak. And it is now, it was a tropical storm, but as of um, this morning, which is Wednesday, it has now turned into a Hurricane One. Uh, category, Hurricane One. Hurricane Category One? I don't know, you get the point. Whichever way that goes. But um, yeah, so I just had one of the guys from the park uh, he's going door to door telling everybody that we need to get any loose things um, picked up and secured uh, because it's going to be some strong winds, clearly. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to ride it out. Um, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, shoot, we just went through a Cat 5 and uh, I definitely wouldn't do that in my camper. Although there was some people who had stayed here for that i mean by the time it got to where we were it was probably like you know a category three strong category two hurricane which is still you know as you can see um does quite a bit of damage but um yeah there was a 92 or something year old lady who stayed here in her camper and rode that rode that bad boy out by herself so yeah i'm gonna go out there and i'm going to get everything kind of uh, situated and tucked away and Donnie's coming later after he gets off of work and he's gonna help me get my solar panel from the last little storm that came through and blew off, off of the roof um, because I can climb up there, but I don't know about getting back down. That's the scary part for me. So he's gonna come help me with that. And I was thinking that I was going to back my truck up and hook it up to the camper. So hopefully that will help stabilize it some more. So I'm going to get that stuff done and then I will kind of keep you guys posted and update as the time goes by. It's 9 a.m. on Wednesday right now and you know as you can see it's a little windy outside. I'll show you. This is what the winds are right now. Not, nothing too bad. It's a little cooler right now which is nice because it's been in the 90s here. So yeah I'll keep you guys posted. spinning in a circle. Hurricane Nicole is expected to hit my location Thursday morning at 7 a.m. with 65 mile an hour winds. So it's about 10.30 right now and the winds are picking up slightly. It's still about, about the same. Um, you're getting those wind gusts coming through every once in a while and whatnot, but uh, the news just said that it is up to 75 mile an hour winds right now, which is puts it in a category one hurricane and it hasn't made landfall yet. So it still has potential to pick up a little bit more and um, the East Coast, they're going to get storm surges like we got over here from Hurricane Ian. Probably not going to be as bad as we got it because it's only a hurricane one, but still nonetheless, um, a storm surge is, is no fun for anybody but I'll check back here with you probably around noon and, and we'll see where we're at with the wind. I'm assuming this video is going to be like a two part video because I'm already at about five minutes in this video. We haven't even got to the good part yet. So be prepared for a part two of riding out Hurricane Nicole, I almost said Ian, in my camper. 
got my 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 my, my, my GoPro. I got my GoPro here. So I've been missing it for a while. I didn't know where I put it, and anyways, found it. And uh, I was thinking about hooking it up outside. You know, might be might be some fun footage. You never know. You never know. You never know. So I'm gonna get this thing all charged up. It's it's the uh, Oh, that's my old one, my old GoPro Hero 3. Remember those days? Yeah, that's not the one I'm looking for. Um, hopefully I got it. Let me dig, dig down in here into my bag of tricks. That's, oh, I was looking for that. That's uh, one of my batteries that goes to my, my drone that I was missing and the charger that I was missing. And I ended up buying another one because I couldn't find it. You know. Oh. Got my GoPro selfie stick. Don't think I'll be standing outside, but you never know. I've, I've been known to do that. I, during Hurricane Charlie, I stood outside and I filmed. I filmed. It'd be cool if I could find that footage for y'all to see. This is all my all my equipment, chest mount, all that stuff. That might be a good one. Where's my chest mount? And uh, here we go. I think that's it. Oh. We got the waterproof thingy. That might be a good one too, because it's gonna bring lots of rain. Yep, lots of rain it's gonna bring. Probably even put the little floaty thing on in case it gets too much rain and it falls out of my hand. And then it won't sink and float. I don't know what's in here. Oh, what is that? I don't even know. Some, some trigger mechanism. Yeah, we're gonna put that in there. I'm just looking for my GoPro. I think it's in here. Better be in here. If not, I don't know. I may have lost it on the boat. Nope. It's here. All right. We're going to get it set up in about my houseboat. You know, I'm going to put a little, insert a little picture here of, of what it looks like after all those pictures that I showed you before. It's final state. And, um, yeah, it's not good. But I am coming after you, buddy. Coming after you. And uh, look out. Watch out, deadliest catch boy. You're going to be the next headline news. I promise you that. Okay, anyways, I got a little sidetracked, but um, we'll charge this and get it ready. I was trying to put down the antenna and it wasn't coming down very well. And that's why my solar panel has flipped back the other direction. Before it was all the way over here and I kept hearing banging, banging, banging. Now it's uh, worked its way back to its original spot, but Donnie should be here in probably about another four hours or so. He's gonna get up there and get that. or a tarp to cover the hole that's up there and just tape it down with some of that RV tape and hopefully that will, will take care of the, the water issue that's about to happen. So it's about 1.30 right now and it's getting super chilly. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. Um, the wind hasn't really picked up that much since before but they have officially closed all schools and there will be no school tomorrow. Oh, I'm cold. I'm gonna go inside. Downward dog stretch. Oh, that's good. Who's coming? Is Donnie? Don't you go out there. No. Is Donnie coming? Yeah. He's going to be here. He'll be here just a minute. Yes. Stopped raining for you just in time. I know. We have a third party call on the phone. Yeah. It's you in classes. Oh, I can't kiss you. You can't kiss me. You've got sick germs. What? Oh yeah, that. I couldn't figure out. I needed. This comes down and goes up, right? And yeah. then folds up again. Yeah. I know. I, I did. I it down. Now what? Now it won't fold up. So what do you think? This this palm tree is leaning quite a bit. Don't know if this storm's going to take it out completely or not. They made it through the hurricane. They'll make it through that. Oh yeah. But no, this one's really leaning. Like, it's already been kind of uprooted a little bit. These ones are perfectly straight. So, Donnie is zip-tying these pieces right here because when that last little storm that came through uh, last week, it ripped the whole tarp off and all that stuff. You can go back and watch that video. But there's nothing to attach it to anymore because the bar that goes across that had the tarp on it or the vinyl on it is what held these pieces 
close to the, the camper there. So he's doing that, and then he's gonna go up and get the solar panel. Scissors. Pipe wrap. Towel. What is it? Pipe wrap? Pipe wrap, yeah. We have wrap pipe you think that's wide enough? I hope so. I got two pieces, but this oh, is okay. double thick. It's actually. Are you handing it to me to hold, or? What's this big old mamma jam doing? Getting somebody out of here. You're towing somebody out of here. That's a big old tow truck. No, I mean like a name on the side of the oh, RV. That's what I've been looking for, haven't I? It kind of looks like that one. Are the owners telling you to come get it or is somebody uh, buying I it? Tow, I guess it's supposed to go to tow park. Nutrients. Oh. But I've got 3550 Northeast Highway 70. So that guy's over there trying to find the camper. They didn't give him a lot number. They didn't give him a make and model of the camper. Just a picture, a half of a picture with the people on it. How you doing up here? Got a little sidetracked. Is it big enough? Yeah. that last little pop-up storm that came through about a week ago out of nowhere. That's what it did. That's how hard that wind was blowing. Ripped it right off of the Anderson connector. That was like this. Ripped it right off. So Donnie's getting a little scared and thinks we should go to Harbor Freight and pick up some straps and some little corkscrew thing. So yeah, maybe. Maybe they might try a tractor supply. Oh, and that's the other place the guy said. You should go tractor supply or Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight would be the first choice because they're cheap. Yeah, so we're going to go there, see what they got, and uh, I'm going to go strap down, strap down the trailer. So, yeah, the 5 o'clock update is still kind of the same path, the same everything. It's going to make landfall as a Category 1 hurricane and then it's supposed to be basically a category one hurricane all the way across right through us and then you know die down um <coughs> when it gets over to the west coast um near where was it landing at where was it landing at on the east coast or the west coast east coast we're the west coast no i know but when it goes across it's going to come back into panhandle from the west coast exiting just north of Tampa and then by that time it'll be a tropical storm but it'll probably be a tropical storm in between hitting Florida all the way through but it's still gonna be you know some strong winds but I don't think it's gonna knock over my camp or anything I don't you, you never know though I mean if you watch the other video that little thunderstorm that came through <laughs> it was rocking the trailer pretty bad I don't even know how how fast those winds were, but it was it wasn't a storm or a tropical storm or anything. Yeah, let's go in. You think a dog leash is gonna? That's probably gonna hold it. You think These a dog leash big. is gonna hold it's down? It's gonna do enough. So you'll see. If, it's not gonna. If a tornado comes down and takes the thing, it's not gonna do anything. But if you get that hard drift and it's on edge, it'll be just enough to hold back. It's better than nothing. True. Or pack. Eleven ninety-nine. Where? How are you gonna get through there? That's solid shale. I gotta I just gotta get it started. Once it bites and I gotta pipe then shall over the rest of the way. Oh no! Broke? Uh oh. 
We can strap one side down three and we can just go wee. We can do a wheelie. Three sides. Huh? Three sides down. Three sides? How are you gonna do the third side strap with no twisty you have thing? To I'm gonna do three corners. I know, but you have to. Where's the strap gonna attach to on the other side that's connected to the third one that doesn't have a fourth one? Okay, you'd have a thing here and a thing here. Strap in between. You have a thing here. You don't have a strap in between. The strap's going to go from, from here to here to the corner. Oh. And this one's going to go from here to here to the corner. I thought you were going to put one on each side, strap here, bring it over, and then strap it into the other side. No. Not doing that. Okay. property. Oh, like where you're, little, you're going a little far. Now you see? Yeah, now I understand. What? This is our better than nothing plan. Yes, better than nothing plan. <laughs> we'll see how that fares. <laughs> it's the certain kind of cheese, I think. We're eating we while we wait for the storm, and Alina's here now. You like it, honey? No. <laughs> it's a certain kind of cheese. It does taste a little funny. This is what I made here, y'all. Grilled white chicken fettuccine Alfredo sauce from Rana. Yeah. And it's the Alfredo that tastes a little funny. It tastes like dirt to me. Are these the rolls you're talking about? Those are the rolls from oh, Martin's. Like they're so like good. school rolls. Don't they remind you of that? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, so they, good. They totally make up for the uh, shitty pasta. Yeah. Well, you're welcome, guys. Thank yep. You. Yep. Slave over the hot stove. <laughs> no, I didn't slave. I put that bitch in the microwave for nine minutes. Breaking news. Nicole is now a hurricane with 75 mile per hour winds and will make landfall around 1 a.m. this morning. And it looks like it's gonna be. So it's 8.30 right now and I'm tired. And I know we're gonna get woke up in the morning, early morning, when this thing starts to pound on Florida. So we're gonna go to bed right now, try to get as much sleep as we can. And then we will see you guys tomorrow with some different footage, so. Bye.